good afternoon, everybody. Tech out here, and today we're going to be doing a video that I haven't done in quite a while, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys the custom ROM I have installed on my OnePlus 9. Um, I did a video unboxing this phone the other day, and I also made a video of the uh, preview of Android 12 on it. Um, I actually took the Android 12 preview off because for OnePlus right now, um, at the time of this recording, it is still just based on the developer preview. It's not actually based on a beta, and it doesn't have any of the Oxygen OS stuff in it yet. Um, so it was pretty clunky um, and just not suitable for everyday use. Um, so I went ahead and I took that off. I went back to Oxygen OS, and I was like, wait a minute. I you know this phone's unlocked. It's a OnePlus. There's custom ROMs available for it, so let's try one out. Um, so the one we have here is the... Evolution X, um, it's version 5.9.1 right now, um, and that is as of August 14th, um, so that's subject to change. These custom ROMs do up, get updated pretty often, um, but that is the latest build right now. I believe it's from the 9th of August, um, and like I said, it is running on my OnePlus 9. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of the custom features that this ROM has, and it's actually got some pretty cool ones um, that I haven't seen before. Um, and I've done like lineage and stuff like that as well before on previous OnePlus devices. So we're going to head down here to the settings. This is the device extras. So these are extra specific uh, to this ROM for the OnePlus 9. Um, we have the ambient display gestures. Um, now there are a couple spots where you can uh, mess with those settings. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, there's color calibration, DC dimming. Uh, you can turn on an FPS overlay so it will give you the frames per second up in the corner there. Um, high brightness mode, which basically just sets the screen to max brightness, and then you can do an automatic high brightness mode, and you can adjust the threshold for that down here. So if you're out in like the sunlight or something, uh, the screen will go to max brightness um, to make it easier to see. One of the coolest things on this one is the slider. OnePlus has a three-position slider on here. It's something that their phones are known for, um, and this ROM takes advantage of that in a few different ways. Um, so you can set these, um, the default for OnePlus and default for this ROM is notification and ringer, so it's uh, silent, vibrate, and ring are the three different positions. Um, you can change it between ringer, so it just does the ringer and not notifications. Um, you can change it between rotation, brightness, so it does auto brightness, minimum brightness, and maximum brightness. But the coolest one I have is the flashlight. So right now the bottom position is off, the middle position turns the flashlight on, and the top position makes the flashlight flash. Um, the default setting for the ROM was off in the middle, on on the bottom, and flash on the top, I believe, or bo uh, bottom. Um, but I just like the um, off to be the bottom just because I can flip it all the way down. I know for sure that it's off. It's like in my pocket or something like that. Um, so you can turn it on like that. It does work with the display off as well. Um, so that is pretty cool. Um, there's a custom animation for the fingerprint sensor. You just saw it right there. There's a bunch of different those. You a uh, bunch of different bunch. Of, never mind. I give up on that. There are a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. There we go. Um, this is the Evolver. These are custom ROM settings specific to the ROM. Um, so this is what the ROM adds in. There are different themes you can set up right here. I have Coca-Cola set, which is basically just a red theme, as you guys can imagine. Um, you have different status bar settings, so you can do network traffic monitoring. Uh, battery bar, clock and date, uh, what icons show, how they show, stuff like that. Um, we have the notifications right here where you can set all your notification preferences, um, how your notifications are going to show up, um, edge lighting, how they show up on the lock screen, all that kind of stuff is in there. Um, we have the settings for the quick settings right here on your uh, pull down shade. You can set different stuff up with that. Your power menu. Um, so right now I have it set up um, so you get the advanced reboot. Um, this is always good if you have a custom ROM. If you need to get into the bootloader or get into recovery, you can do that right here from the phone when you go to restart it instead of having to restart it uh, and boot it back up and all that kind of stuff and worry about that there. Um, so that's advanced reboot. You can hide it on the lock screen. Here's more gesture settings. Um, so here's your standard Android uh, gestures right there. Um, there are OnePlus gestures in here as well where you can like draw letters on the screen to get different... Um, different options when the screen is off. Uh, here's your lock screen settings. This is where you'll find your fingerprint stuff. Um, when your fingerprint icon displays, if it stays on the always on display or not, you can turn that one or off. Um, you can choose your animation effects. So there's a bunch of different ones you can choose from right here. Um, that's the one you guys just saw. Um, background blur effects, status bar, uh, charging animation. So when the phone's plugged in, what animation you get on the always on display and lock screen. 
uh, for charging. You can set all that up there. You've got your buttons here, your navigation bar, your system navigation, whether you want two button, three button, or gesture navigation, uh, playback controls, all that kind of stuff. Uh, stuff to do partial screenshots. It's basically got all the Android features um, just piled into one here, so you can really customize the phone, which is really nice. Um, you got animations and stuff like that, how fast your animations are, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's the stock background. It does use the Pixel Launcher um, and all that kind of stuff. So if you have a Pixel or you like the Pixel Launcher, you've got that right out of the box. Um, if you don't, you can always install a custom launcher from the Play Store and run that. But that is Evolution X. I'm Colin with Tech Out. This is the OnePlus 9. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to see, if there's another custom ROM you want me to check out for the OnePlus 9, I don't mind installing them on my device. So I will check those out for you. Just leave them down in the comments section below, and I'll try to make a video on it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day.